Right, here's our new game situation. So one of them, so we get a choice of which is the uh, which is the best on Pike's Peak PlayStation VR. So we'll do Monster on this one, and we'll do Sebastian Loeb on this one. This one here is the is the Samsung J2. And this one here is the J2. So we have our monster and doing this thing with an electric car versus the petrol car down the bottom. This is 2013. <laughs>
This needs a commentary, so Mitchabishi's there on the screen, Peugeot's down the bottom, and uh, just got an interruption there from Facebook. How long it's going to be there, I'm not sure. So, Munster's up the top, Sebastian Lowe and the Peugeot's down the bottom, electric car on the top, and 750 horsepower and a 750kg car down the bottom. Set the record 2013, and this is 2014 run. Uh, this is a new game for the Global Gaming Jam. What we're doing is 2016 for Tokara. Just advertising, this is the poster. Um, and I'm also introducing the virtual reality, which is the um, Oculus Prime, and also we're looking at the PlayStation VR. This is the PlayStation VR version of this. The Oculus Prime uses a motorcycle. And... Um, so what we're actually looking at doing is asking uh, the PlayStation VR to uh, come to the party and invite this game to be developed uh, in with their headsets. Um, the way that I see this working is 2016-2017. Uh, we do a video of uh, a couple of cars going to the top and what we do is we then um, put the virtual reality around it and um, as you can see we're, we're just at this stage now where I've synced the two videos um, so we had a bit of a time delay where the Peugeot was faster than the Mitsubishi electric car So virtual reality, uh, it means you can sit in the cab and look around 365 degrees or even a spherical um, while you're racing and you can swap between the top one and the bottom one and you can also um, pause one, uh, one will be faster than the other. And so the games are very simple, all it is is letting the other driver drive you up there and all you do is you just sit in the um, cab and uh, look around and just maintain them at both at the same level. So you've got to swap between the two views um, just to make sure that you're in the right same place with regards to um, with regards to the videos, just like I'm doing now, um, but in an Oculus Rift environment. And uh, so it'd be very interesting to see how that comes up. Very simple. Um, but then one of the things I want to do is. Take Bruce Simpson up to the top of Pikes with his virtual reality FPV quadcopter racing. He said no problem to get up the 20Ks and race um, virtual reality either sitting at the top or sitting at the bottom and the little quadcopter follows the road all the way up and gives you a picture. So that's another um, virtual reality experience. So we're just trying to get these to come across the finish line at the same time and uh, that's another key to this is so what I've done is paused it and they're both in sync now and so you can see they come through the finishing line together so that's the game and I have enjoyed making this I'm just about to upload it and then link to the website so, there's a petrol car versus an electric car. And this is a PlayStation VR headset, so I want to see this game across both platforms. And all rights reserved, whatever the uh, interest is, I want to be able to manage uh, the concept which has been developed here. And we're just demonstrating it just before the Global Gaming Jam as a, an advertisement for people to come to the Tokoroa Gaming Jam and support Tokoroa um, will be the first year 2016 so we're looking forward to every year with the cultural diversity of the Pacific Islands about 12 different Pacific Islands uh, and by the University of South Pacific to be the educational sponsor uh, which is made up of the 12 um, Pacific Islands 
So it looks like the uh, petrol car is slowing down and the electric one on top is faster um, and that loses 30% from the bottom to the top in the vehicle so even though the um, petrol car was faster I'm actually picking that we are lagging behind at the moment in the, in the um, petrol car but then we mightn't be so So getting back to virtual reality, so Oculus Prime uh, and then the PlayStation VR and there's a third one out, uh, which I don't have the name to as yet, but if they want me to review it and make up a game for them, they can get in contact with me at young.roderick at gmail.com, that's y-o-u-n-g dot r-o-d-e-r-i-c-k at gmail.com, and just put VR in the uh, subject line with regards to it being PlayStation or Oculus Prime or uh, VR relating to the uh, other people that have virtual reality headsets. So this race is pretty close at the moment. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see who wins this. Sebastian Lowe's just come through. And all we have it with regards to the monster. So there you go, the sponsors. So the sponsors is GoPro and Mitsubishi. So if you are part of GoPro and Mitsubishi and you want to contact me, you can also contact me on those uh, contacts, young.roderick at gmail.com. And I'm very interested in promoting your product and doing some quadcopter racing up the top of um, Pikes with a quadcopter and FPV, first person viewing uh, and based out of Tokara so we've got a team all set to go so we're just looking for some sponsorship bring a container load of equipment over and go from there so there you have it so I'll just let this play out because I think it's an interesting historical event. There you go, so the hundredth year, we want to have a quadcopter going up in June I believe, so we've got another four months. So if you go pro, get in touch with Bruce Simpson on XJet channel or um, up C model reviews and uh, get in touch with us so that we can send a team over to race a quadcopter up for the first time, the 100th anniversary. Okay, that's good. Looking forward to it. Thank you very much. And remember, New Zealand here is the land of the long white cloud with lots of sheep.